Christina, welcome to my channel. I am back today to discuss what I still have for, left from my craft fair last year and what am I going to put in my craft fair for this year. I have to decide, okay, do I wanna add these things back in or what am I going to do? Um, so let's just start right here. And before I get going, I just want to tell everyone, thank you so much for clicking on my video today. I really appreciate it. And if you are not subscribed, I'd love your subscription and a big thumbs up would really help my channel. I am working to grow. So every little bit helps. And each one of you, as you help me out by hitting that subscribe button really means the world to me. So thank you, thank you, thank you so much. So let's get going on this. So in this pile right here, I have scrunchies. Last year I made 120 scrunchies and I probably sold 40 to 45 of them. I still have quite a bit left, of course, and I've had them stored nicely in a bin and so forth. I did make the XL scrunchie and I did make the smaller one, and I just called them my medium scrunchie. Um, so that's what I did. I ha still have quite a few in the bin. I just pulled out a few for the video. Um, I got a lot of cute ones here. I just really loved making them. I went crazy making them, and I just absolutely loved it. So this year, I'm thinking what I'm going to do is I think I will... Well, last year I sold them for like $13 a piece and um, I did sold quite a few, but I'm thinking this year I'm going to display them differently. I'm thinking about getting like a pegboard, like one, a stand that I can put right by the front of my booth. So that way it's almost the first thing that everybody sees when they're coming in. And so I really want to make sure that I have it where they're displayed even better. I had a big pegboard that my husband made me last year and I still could use that, but it just took up so much of my table space. And so I'm thinking I want one that stands on the ground and is tall enough. And I think I'm gonna lower the price and yes, um, you, um, you might say, oh, Dina, don't lose money on these. Well, I made them last year and I just think that, you know, it's all good. I want them to go to a good home and so forth. And yeah, y'all, I love this one. I might keep that one for myself. I love it so much. Um, but anyway, I want them to go to a good home. I want someone to be able to use these, give them as gifts. And so I'm thinking because I did 13 last year, I might put them down to $10 or maybe two for 15. Um, that way then I can make at least seven bucks off of them. That gives me just a little bit of profit and my supplies back. So I'm thinking that's what I might do. That price could change. I might even go a little bit cheaper. I might... Um, I I even thought about just selling them for like $7 a piece or two for 10. Um, so I'm thinking that that might be what I do. I think probably I'll probably do that because I want to sell them. I want them to find a new home. So anyway, loved making them. I really wanted to make more this year, but you know what? I've already made a lot and I need to sell these before I do anything else. So, um, but yeah, so let's just move on. So last year I made a bunch of dog bandanas and this right here is what I have left. Maybe 15, maybe. Um, it still has the doggy cookie in there. I am going to remove the dog cookie and if I put these back in my craft fair, um, I'll put a new cookie because I put it in last year. And they are in little plastic bags in there. They're nice and protected away from the bandana. So I don't think I'm going to make any more um, unless I just get the inkling to do it. But let me see how many I've got. I've got extra small, small, medium, medium. And here's another extra small. And here's another small. Got the medium, got a large extra large put the large here I did have people last year really enjoy getting these and so forth and they were asking for like Valentine ones and stuff if I can push it out I might do so I've got some of each size here so I'm thinking I'll take out the cookie and I did sell like the small for five dollars I'm not going to change the price on them I'll probably just change the cookie and um I'll just uh 
yeah, I think I'll just sell the ones I've made and hopefully I'll sell them. Maybe I'll make a few that maybe, um, um, maybe, I don't know, maybe I can push a few more up. We'll see. Okay, as you know, I have made a bunch of new pouches this year. I am in love with the ones I made and I still have a few from last year and I have to determine, I might just put these like as $5 deals. Um, these are great pencil, pencil pouches. I've only got five of these. So I'm thinking I might as well try. Um, if not, maybe what I'll do, oh, maybe what I'll do is these pouches, like if someone buys something, I'll give it away. Um, just because I had made them last year and, um, you know, I just wanted to go to a home, a good home. So I'm thinking if they buy, maybe if they buy like, um, like over $30 worth of products or 40 while supplies last, I'll give a free pouch. And I think I will add these in too. These are made from faux leather. So I might do that. I might give those away as freebies. We'll see. Or I don't know. I might do some two furs here. Okay. So, so last year I did the whole tumbler thing and I had, I, uh, when I looked in my bin, I realized I had four left. I have two with Barbie. And I have two that are leopard Barbie. And I don't know if I'll put them in. Maybe I'll give them as a giveaway or something. Because I've only got two of each one of these. And I really don't think that's enough. But I love this one. So I might do this as a giveaway. Um, yeah, we'll see. Or if anybody's interested in one of these. I've got two of each of these and that's it. Um, but I don't think I'm going to put any more this year. So, okay, all moving along, um, last year I made these, these are Bible journaling books, and I only have three left. I sold everybody, everything else, and I absolutely loved making these. If I could find the notebooks again, I will, but I just loved how they turned out, and I want to find something similar to this. I like to try to change it up, but, um, yeah, I might... I might just see if I can change them up and make some more of these, but these, this is all I have left and they're not, they're not something I'm going to just toss out or whatever because they really did sell and I really enjoyed it. Now I've got a couple, one, two, three, four, five shopping bags left. <laughs> Let's make the, sh let the shopping begin. So, and then that one was shopping queen. Then I got another, let's make, let's let the shopping begin. And then the last one I had left was, um, shop, shop, shop. And that was all I have left. The rest of my had sold. So I was selling them for $10. I still think that they're still worth 10. I'll probably leave them as a 10 and I don't know. I might see about making a few more. I don't know. I do have the kind that I did sew as well. They're a little bit smaller, but I have to determine, okay, um, is it, are they going to be worth it for me to sell them or what? Or it might go in my freebie bucket too. I might do that as well. Now I do have these right here, um, the end symbol of the innkeeper. Um, they kind of sold, you know, they didn't really like do the best. So, I'm thinking I might not put them back in my craft fair this year. I have a bunch, and you know what I might do? My neighbor, he is a minister of church, and I might give them to them. And I have these right here, and so I might pass them on to them. Or I might just give them out as gifts at my, you know, at my work. So, I don't think I'll put them back in again. I just think that... For the amount of time that I spent on those and everything, I just don't think they sold as well as I would have loved for them to sell. Okay, got a couple of wood items over here. I have this one, and I just don't know if I'm going to put it in. Um, I I think I did this one two years ago, and I still didn't sell it. So, I don't know. I just think maybe maybe I didn't choose the right colors or something like that and, and all that. But I don't know. I think I was, and I think I was selling it for like only like... 12 bucks and I probably paid six for the for the for the uh kit but I don't know I just don't think that I am going to put this one back in maybe I could change my mind 
I did make this one last year, and I will put it back in. I did not sell this one. I had put $25 on it, but y'all, I spent like $20 just on the kit. I'm not going down on the price. So, I'm going to try it again, see if see if it sells. Maybe I'll just put $20 on it, just try to sell it, and just make my money back. So, I do have a couple of these lines left. These, I had put $8 on them. Looks like I've got a little scratch right there. It's got a scratch. I'm not selling it. This one looks okay. Um, I might just do, because I've got more signs I'm going to put. Um, I haven't decided how much I'm going to put on these. I had put eight, and since I made them last year, I might go down on the price. We'll see. Um, I always sell a few mini albums. I've got this Merry Little Christmas and Wishing You a Perfect, perfect Christmas. And this one is Darling. I love this so much. So pretty. I don't know, I might just keep it for myself. Or I might make it a giveaway. That's so pretty, y'all. This was just gorgeous. I love this so much. So anyway, those are the two mini albums that I have left. And then lastly, I have these. And I don't know. Um, I might take them apart. Um, I believe I made these not last year, the year before. This is what I have left. So, um, or I could put these as giveaways as well. If someone buys like $40 or more, I can put these that way. Or maybe I can just put them as like $3 items. I might do that. I might just put them as $3 items. We'll see what I decide to do. But really, um, that's pretty much all. Um, let me look at my bin here. Yeah, that's pretty much all I had. I had, I had one more house, and I'll still keep putting my houses um, in there, and because I love doing these so much, and it's just they're so cute. So I might just lower the price. I probably put like, like twelve dollars on the. Oh, I put ten. So maybe I'll put it down to seven. See if I could sell it. So anyway, I think they're darling, and they make great, good, great decor. And um, yeah. So I think I've got two in my bin of that one. And that's it, y'all. That's really all I have left. I was really thinking I was having more. But some of these, like the scrunchies, I'm definitely going to try to sell them. Not putting the tumblers this year it was a lot of work. And um, I really enjoyed doing it. But uh, I think I want to try to do maybe something different. I might do some glass cans that, are, that have vinyl on them. Um, maybe I'll do those. Um, cause I do have some, but other than that, that's what I have left. It's actually not too bad. Um, so yeah, that is it. I hope you guys found this helpful. Go through what you have left over from last year and see what you still want to sell this, this time. Um, cause you know, we always have something left over and like last year I had like seven, I sold probably 75% of what I took. I probably had 10 bins and I have three left. That's it of stuff that I had not made and uh, not sold from last year. And one of them is all scrunchies. So, uh, yeah, so I think what I'll do is I think I'm just going to, um, like give these to my neighbor or yeah, I think I'll probably just donate them to my neighbor or send them to my sister. She can pass them out of her church. That's what I'm going to do because she would actually love this. So, I probably will send these off to my sister. She can pass them out as gifts for somebody at her church. And um, I think that she would enjoy that. And um, yeah, I do. I, she loves Christmas stuff. And I think that's what I will do. Anyway, I hope you found this helpful. Dig through your stuff. See what you have left over. Think about what you want to price it. Um, yes, I'm not going to make much money off of the scrunchies by discounting them. But I have so many, I want to just sell them. And I made them last year. So, luckily, they're nice and clean. Still beautiful. And I just... I want to sell them. So, anyway, that is it. I hope you guys have a great great day today is sunday afternoon it is 4 15 um, probably no cooking in my future maybe 
maybe hot a sausage dog or something. Um, my husband actually finally got out of the house this morning with, or the, at lunchtime. Um, my granddaughter and him and I, we went out and, and ate some food at a little restaurant just right down the road. Um, yeah, that was about the extent of his outing. He didn't need um, any more. <laughs> that was enough for him. He came home, iced his knee again, but it did him a little good to get out of the house. So anyway, that's what's going on here. I am going to store what I'm going to continue to try to sell. I'm going to take the dog cookies out of my bandanas right there. And yeah, I think that's it. Have a great day. I love you guys. And um, I'll catch you in my next one. Bye.